So there are three new cases now in Oregon of people getting sick from vaping. The Oregon Health Authority confirms all three of them are minors. They're kids. That brings the total now to 17 cases in Oregon, including two deaths. Health officials still at this point don't know exactly what's causing exactly these lung illnesses. They have recommended, though, that people stop vaping. That update comes a day after our call Kristen vaping investigation aired. It was the most read story on KGW.com all day. We bought several vaping products and had them tested at an accredited lab in Portland. Kristen joins us now with a reaction to her investigation. A lot of strong comments about our vaping story on my KGW Facebook page. For example, one woman writes, I'm going to go with 37 deaths compared to 480,000. And as such, it is much safer. And that's a popular argument. A lot of people say vaping has made less people sick than cigarettes, so vaping is safe. But the doctors we talked to said it's just not that simple. What I used to say is that I think that the uh, evidence is that it is likely that vaping is safer than cigarette smoking. But the key message here is that safer does not mean safe. And we just don't know enough about the long-term effects of vaping. Um, these electronic cigarettes have been around for around 10 years. In the case of Juul, about two and a half years. Uh, and already we're seeing a rash of illnesses. Dr. William Bauerfeind has treated a number of patients with lung illnesses caused by vaping. He said current smokers should not use vaping as a way to quit and non-smokers should absolutely not try vaping as the CDC works to figure out what's causing these vape related illnesses. The latest numbers show 1800 people have become sick. 37 people have died. We interviewed Justin Wilson and his father Jake. Justin was rushed to the hospital after his lungs stopped working. He vaped two Juul pods a day and occasionally used THC. I know that people who are not vaping are not getting this. Um, but until we know what's causing it or what about vaping or what type of vaping or if it's a certain product or if it's a certain chemical or a certain additive, until we know you're, you're rolling the dice every time. We also tested six products with the help of a private lab. Five of those products passed government standards. One tested positive for lead. You can watch our entire investigation on YouTube right now or on KGW.com. Back to you.